Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about Red State. So, this was the first time watched for me, but I've known about this movie for quite a while. And, um, you know, for people who don't know, this movie is written and directed by Kevin Smith. And it's kind of a uh, departure in his filmography because usually he does, you know, like drama films or comedy films. And this, um, it's, it's kind of, it's like classified as a horror film, but it's not really that much of a horror film. It's kind of more like a, like a thriller, but then it also has like a lot of uh, action movie elements. It's hard to classify, but basically this this movie like s some of his other movies are unique compared to like the rest of his filmography like dogma's kind of different and you know chasing amy's kind of different but for for the most part his other movies have you know more of like a dramatic or comedic tone this movie you know was a lot it was a lot darker and it just um, it was, it was completely different than, than anything he had done, uh, before this point. So, you know, I've known about this. I like quite a few Kevin Smith movies. So I, I thought, Hey, one day I got to check that out. And, um, you know, I just, I didn't really go in with any expectations. Uh, this, this movie kind of had mixed reviews. Some people you know, enjoy it. Some people think, you know, it's, it's, it's not it, but, uh, yeah, I went in with no expectations and actually, uh, my overall opinion of the movie, I thought it was good. Um, it, it definitely kept my attention. I thought it was, uh, very suspenseful, very tense. And I, I really liked the action, uh, the, the action sequences later on in the movie. So yeah, I was a, I was a fan of this and, uh, yeah, I think, uh, overall, I think Kevin Smith did a pretty darn good job. Like I, I don't know. And in, in my opinion, yeah, it was a pretty decent movie. So there you go. But anyways, jumping into a, uh, plot summary here. So the movie starts out and you have this group of three teenage guys, and they find this this uh, ad online that this woman wants to basically engage in group sex. She wants to have sex with all three of them. So they meet up with this woman, and they're they're drinking some beers with her. And you know, it's a trap. She drugged them. They wake up in this uh, in this like church compound of this. There's this like this, this church has this like compound and they're like off in the middle of nowhere and they're pretty much like a extremist religious group. And what they do, like they, they kill people who they think are sinners. So right before, like, all, like all the, like these three guys are tied up and they're seeing like the, the pastors going on with his, his preaching. And then they like shoot this this one guy that they have hostage just because he's gay. So anyone who they think is a sinner, they'll like trick them into coming there with like, you know, these like online ads and then they'll like drug them and, and kill them. Cause they think, they think like these people are morally wrong, but it's morally right to kill them. Cause they're, you know, they're crazy. They're like extremists. So anyways, these, uh, these kids are trying to escape so that they, you know, don't get killed by these religious extremists. And, um, a little bit, a little bit later on, uh, the, the ATF actually come through. They're called to, you know, investigate this religious group. And one thing leads to another. And there, the ATF is ordered to, um, to just like kill everyone in the religious group be so that there's 
no witnesses left and there's still one of the one of the kids one of the teenage kids is still in there uh, as a hostage he's trying to escape and then the ATF is having this big uh, firefight with the with the religious cult so you have this this innocent kid who's still trying to survive the you know religious extremists are trying to kill the ATF and the ATF are trying to wipe out everyone in the house and leave no trace so that is um, the basic plot summary the first point I'm gonna get into is I like I kind of mentioned earlier I think this movie had great suspense um, I all the stuff surrounding the, the teenage guys trying to escape was really well done in my opinion that it, that it was um, just super tense like edgier seat stuff um, you know you 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 were like you were on edge you were antsy like you like at any moment they could get caught at any moment they could get killed like these people are crazy they have to creep around like how are they gonna escape every door is locked you know they you, you know like someone's gonna hear them like what are they gonna do how are they gonna you know get help so all of the stuff surrounding like these these kids being held captive and trying to escape that was really good that really uh, kept my attention and then I was a huge fan of the the action scenes in the third act like once once uh, the the ATF started going at it with the the religious group and it became like an all-out firefight all of the action stuff was super well done like you know people are just getting shot up you know people have you know machine guns going on the one pastor he's he's got like a bolt action sniper he's sniping people it's just it's like an all-out war it's an all-out conflict and it it, it was a uh, it was fantastic. the The main ATF guy is played by John Goodman, and he was like, he was going crazy. He was hitting fools with the machine gun, and then he like whipped out the pistol. He's shooting shooting people on, off balconies and stuff. So, I yeah, I thought all the the action centric stuff, all the gunplay, all the little firefights, super entertaining, super well well done. Definitely held my attention. So, I really like the the action elements. Um, and then in terms of performances, uh, I, I thought all the performances were good, but the standouts for me were, you know, John Goodman, he absolutely killed it. I really liked his performance. And then uh, the, the pastor in this was played by Michael Parks. He was just, he was like, he sold it as this crazy um, religious fanatic, cult leader like he was just like the way he would emote like his eyes and his delivery of lines he was just he he was just like had that crazy um cult leader persona like down like he just he totally embodied it it was so believable and it wasn't over the top or anything but uh yeah michael parks killed it and then yeah john goodman killed it as well Pretty much everyone in this did well. Like the the teenage uh, characters, they they did well. I recognize some of the actors. Like two of the guys were in the movie Sky High, and then I think the other guy was in the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. But th they were great too. But uh, they didn't have as much to do. You know, they were they didn't have as much dialogue because they're just creeping around trying to survive. But yeah, John Goodman and Michael Parks absolutely killed it um, and then the last point that I want to get into is um, you know I, I liked the these like religious fanatics as a antagonist I thought that was kind of a kind of a unique angle kind of like a unique antagonist I uh, I don't know I'm always creeped out by like cults and uh, stuff surrounding any like cult group like that any like extremist 
group. There's just something so like eerie and creepy about these these uh, people who are in cults and they just uh, they have like these just insane beliefs and they can get all these other people on board and they have this like power like to manipulate these people like like the the pastor's followers were like ride or die they're just whipping around machine guns killing people for them like they're ready to to die and go to heaven like they're ready to you know do whatever they have to do sacrifice their life to for the greater good of their little cult so i thought uh it was like a they were like a just like a this religious cult was just a great antagonist and you don't you don't really see that a lot in a lot of you know action movies or thriller movies where you have this like crazy religious cult wielding machine guns and that's your antagonist i thought uh it was a unique antagonist and also um just they were just crazy like they were just like they were evil you know and uh it was funny because, like I said, they have that moral gray area where they totally believe, like they 100% believe that they're they're not evil and they're like doing God's work and they have to exterminate the sinners, which is like contradicts itself. Like if you're killing people, you're way worse than any like s s one, any person who you think is sinning. You know, like that's like the ultimate sin is killing someone. So. Yeah, they have like this weird moral compass where it doesn't make any sense, but they're just like so driven uh, to just kill people, like kill anyone who who strays from their like what what they see is like their perfect uh, like ideal Christian path. So yeah, I thought they were great antagonists, and I liked like exploring this religious cult because I think anything surrounding cults is just interesting i'm like i'm a sucker for any movie that has like some evil crazy cult in it so yeah i really like the uh antagonist but anyways that's uh that's the last point i wanted to get into in terms of a recommendation you know like i said i i thought this movie was pretty solid um you know i think i think the the performances were good I thought the, the it was suspenseful. There was a lot of action. You know, I think I think Kevin Smith did a good, good did a good job writing and directing this. This you know, I'm a fan of other uh, Kevin Smith movies. Some some Kevin Smith movies I don't really like, but this this is one that I like. So I would definitely recommend it. It's uh, it's free on Tubi right now. So you know if after watching this video you think this might be something that you're interested in I would say it's uh, it's worth checking out in my opinion but anyways that's been my recommendation and that has been my review of Red State thank you all very much for watching and peace out